babe, good morning. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new, I'm Shayla. It's hard to believe that it's already 11.30 because I got up at five o'clock this morning to start working on podcast episodes and I wanted to start the vlog sooner, but here we are. Recording and editing podcast episodes takes a lot longer than you might think, but I'm not complaining because I love it. I just am complaining because I'm out of time now and I wanted to say hi longer than what I'm about to do to you right now, but I have to go because I have Pilates class that I need to leave for in five minutes. Just checking my calendar really quickly. Ooh, just got a delivery downstairs. I hope that is my new bedding from Brooklyn in because I really want to do a fall bedroom refresh with you in this vlog. I'll have to check after my class. We're gonna go to Pilates, then meeting up with my friend Brooke for a quick catch up and smoothie. I have some errands I need to run and then I need to tackle my bedroom. I didn't make my bed today, I left it a hot mess. My bedroom and closet need a little TLC. But movement is coming first because I've been sitting at my coffee table for the last five and a half hours and my legs feel so incredibly stiff. All right, let's go to Pilates. P.S. Subscribe if you're not already, please. Okay, thank you, love you. Pilates was perfect, a little spicy, I'm not gonna lie, but that's just because I'm very sore from my workouts from the last few days, but I love adding in a Pilates class once a week. Just a nice way to change things up, a little slower moving, but no less of a good workout. Interesting. What are you doing over here? <laughs> I'm watching you. You look so pretty. Hello, I love your new hair. <laughs> I feel like I look incredibly disheveled right now. <laughs> And I really need to take a shower. I got home from running my errands and had a brand call and made a really quick lunch. It was nothing exciting, just random veggies I have in my fridge and just sauteed them with tamari because I was so hungry after that workout. But I'm too excited because my new bedding from Brooklyn came and I just want to put it on my bed. Having my bed made it just makes me feel better. And as I said this morning, I didn't make my bed because I was hoping that my new bedding would come. It's just time to change things up, you know? It's officially fall and I I feel like my bedroom needed a little refresh along with my closet, which we will get into tomorrow. I love neutral creamy colors in my bedroom because I feel like it's just super calming, but I decided to go with this gorgeous warm gray color and I am obsessed with it. This is my first time seeing it in person. It's so good. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you know I am obsessed with Brooklinen. All of my bedding and all of my towels and my bathroom are all from Brooklinen. And I'm just obsessed with Brooklinen because they have such high quality home goods that last you a long time and they're absolutely 100% worth the investment. And I just feel like investing in sheets that are long lasting and high quality not only elevates your sheet game, but I feel like it just increases the quality of your life because I don't know if you know this, but humans typically spend one third of their life in bed sleeping. So why not make it a luxurious, comfy, cozy experience? You know what I mean? I currently have their linen bedding on and I love linen for summer, but I wanted to change things up and I went with their best-selling Lux Sateen sheets. They are 480 thread count and they have a slightly luminous finish. The color is so pretty. Wow, it's almost like this neutral taupey color. I love it. Sateen is actually typically more tightly woven, which makes it a heavier weight and makes it buttery soft. And it's ideal for year round comfort. You know, the temperature is dropping rapidly here in New York City. So I wanted to get something a little bit heavier than my linen sheets that I've had all summer. I actually got a bundle, which is another reason I love Brooklinen because instead of buying individual items, Items, you can save 20% by purchasing a hardcore bundle, which includes a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. You can also mix and match the colors and prints to create a bundle that feels like you. I, as I said, like a neutral vibe in my bedroom. So I went with the warm gray duvet, and then I went with the warm gray core sheet set, which comes with a fitted sheet, flat sheet, and two pillowcases. And then for my extra two pillowcases, I got them in cream, my OG favorite favorite color from Brooklyn. It's just so pretty and creamy. It reminds me of a delicious milky latte. <laughs> By the 
way, Brooklinen has been kind enough to extend a special discount code for you guys, which I will pop here on the screen. It's just my name, Shayla Quinn, and that will give you $20 off your order of $100 or more. You can use my link below to stock up on bedding and bath essentials. Get your room feeling right. This color combo together is so good. Okay, let's put my bed together. Also, can I just take a moment? I fully manifested working with Brooklyn Inn. Like, I don't know if you've seen any of my early New York vlogs when I first moved here, but I walked myself to the Brooklyn Inn store and bought towels and I bought bedding and I was like, oh, I love this brand. And now a year later, they're literally sponsoring this portion of the video. I feel so lucky and I just love them and you're gonna love them too. So shop using the link below, use Shayla Quinn, $20 off 100. You won't regret it. previously that I love, but I wanted to get one more because I noticed that sometimes in the night I'll shift around and then I'm no longer on my silk pillowcase. So I thought, why not have two? And that way, if I'm rolling around, I'm still gonna end up on a silk pillowcase. I have six pillows on my bed. So I think I'm gonna do two cream in the back and then I'll do the front ones the same color as the duvet and sheets, that warm gray color. Plus because my throw pillows are cream, so. Oh, 100% yes. That looks so nice. Love, love, love. You know what too? This color kind of matches the art above my bed. Also, the other thing I got for my bedroom for a little fall refresh is a pumpkin chai candle. I got this from Nest. Here on this little nightstand. Can we just take a moment collectively and laugh at the fact that this teeny tiny votive candle is the fall decor that I'm adding to my bedroom, aside from my bedding. <laughs> like the tiniest candle, yes. We like to keep it neutral in here. That's all my bedroom is getting. That is all. Oh, you know what too? I saw one of you comment about saving the flowers that my boyfriend got me and I actually already had pressed one of the flowers. So pretty, right? I had it pressed between a book and this parchment paper. Now I need to figure out what to do with it. Maybe I can laminate it and make a little bookmark or something out of it. I don't know, but I thought it came out very pretty. I actually had pressed two other ones in there with it, but they were moldy. I think because there was still water in them or something. I don't know. This one came out really cute. In addition to my Brooklyn and bedding, I also got another little package in the mail from Brand Edit. It is their Fall Edit, which is essentially a collection of all of their favorite fall products. So I thought we could open this together and see what's in here. Ooh, this is cool. Hypoallergenic, safe for sensitive skin, eco-friendly, non-toxic perfume, basically. Love that. I've actually been looking for a new scent, so we'll have to smell these. Air texture spray for your hair. Lux cube latte cubes, pumpkin spice. Now don't judge me, but I'm not a big pumpkin spice girly. Oh my gosh, love this, non-alcoholic beer. How great is that? Elemis cleansing balm. Oh, I love their cleansing balm. Wireless curling iron. Cool, I'm excited to try this. And lastly, some really cute little scrunchies. Love. Between you and I, I actually say no to probably 95% of PR gifting offers just because I feel like one person does not need that much stuff. It's ridiculous and I don't want to be wasteful. I know what I like and I'll say yes if a brand that I already use, know, love, and buy wants to gift me something, obviously, because that's so nice. But oftentimes, yeah, I say no, I'm not accepting gifting because it can get very out of control. But I always love receiving curated boxes like this because it helps me discover new brands, which is always so fun. The bottle is so pretty. Love the branding on this. I'm gonna open them all up. We have three scents. Boardwalk Delight is pure vanilla, cotton candy, and coconut milk. And then Vanilla Sky, which is probably gonna be my favorite, <laughs> is cappuccino, pure vanilla, and caramelized cedar. That smells so good, wow. And then the last one is Peach Fields, White Peach Osmanthus. This is the word. 
I don't know how to say that. And sandalwood, which I really love sandalwood as well. So curious about this one. Wow, that actually smells amazing. Yay, so excited. I definitely feel like I have to gift at least one of these to a friend of mine. I don't need three. Love that. Okay, I gotta get some work done. Freshening up a little because I am going to meet up with my boyfriend and his cousin who just got here and is staying here for I think like three months. I think he just arrived like two days ago. So I'm gonna go and meet up with them for a little bit. On another note, it is eight something and I just feel like I've been going nonstop all day <laughs> and I would love nothing more than to climb into my new Brooklyn and sheets and go to bed. But a promise is a promise and I'm sure it will be fun to see them and hang out with them. And I feel like I've just been working like crazy all week and I could use a fun little evening. I'm kind of on the warmer side today, so I think I'm just gonna do a little faux leather jacket. I slept with my windows open last night and it is so chilly in here, so we're putting sweatpants on. I also finally caved and got the Skinny Confidential Hot Mess Face Roller and this is my first time trying it, so. Okay, yes, very into this. The roller on this is way colder than the cheap one I got off Amazon. This feels amazing. I actually got this one on Amazon too, so I'll link below. Wow, this one is so nice. So happy my Whole Foods finally restocked the Coconut Cult Coconut Probiotic Yogurt. They have been out of it for like, I swear, six to eight months. Love having a spoonful of this every day to get some probiotics in for a healthy, happy gut and healthy skin. My little morning routine is my favorite. Coffee, back on the probiotic yogurt, sauerkraut, lipospheric C and a packet of glutathione with a ginger shot. And I try to do plain celery juice as many mornings during the week as possible. Making a little lunch before we get started on my closet. And I'm just gonna do spinach, mushrooms, shredded carrot, broccoli, edamame, spring onion, garlic, and tamari. Kind of like a stir fry with some bean bread noodles. It is time to tackle my closet. I need to switch out all my summer clothes for my fall slash winter-ish clothes. And I want to kind of do a closet clean out, which is something I do pretty much every season. It's just organize my closet for the new season. Doing a little peak BT fountain. Step 
one is to take everything out of my closet. And then I will go through my under the bed bags and put my summer stuff in here and take whatever cool weather stuff is in here and pop it in my closet. We'll figure out how to organize it all. Listening to this really cute audiobook, Lonely Hearts Radio on Audible. My boyfriend's mom actually told me about it and it's so freaking cute. In honor of the down Listening to that show. while we do Get the closet. Out. decided to do, whoa, the sun is reflecting off of that other building and it's so bright. What I've decided to do is obviously I'm like piling all of my summer clothes over there because once I get everything out of my under the bed bags, I'll put that stuff in there. But I think I'm also going to separate stuff that I'm not totally sure about that I haven't worn in a while. And I'm going to keep it stored under my bed and set an alarm to my phone. And if in like three months I haven't looked for it, I will either sell it on Poshmark or donate it. I just kind of put everything over there for now because I am slightly overwhelmed, I won't lie. But yeah, that's the update. Back to work I go. want to make pasta. I have bonds of pasta left and no pasta sauce. Nothing to cook it with. I think we should go to the bodega and see if we can find a little sauce. Went for pasta sauce, as you know, which as you saw, I did get. But then when I was there, I saw they had gnocchi and I have not had gnocchi in so long that I just couldn't resist. So, Bonza pasta is going back in the cabinet and we're making some gnocchi. But first, first it's time for a little self care. I am exhausted. I really don't have any plans for tonight and I'm actually okay with that. I'm so tired. Woke up early without an alarm as I do. So I figured I might as well get some editing done. By the way, I got this like long sleeve t-shirt from Skims. It matches these briefs from Skims and they are so comfortable. I've never slept in them and I'm obsessed. Highly recommend. This material is so soft.
I cannot explain the joy that I get from putting things in aesthetic looking containers. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it just, it just really scratches an itch for me. I, and here's the thing, the girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. You know, when I started dating my boyfriend, I had like three leaves on this plant and he gave me some fertilizer and my plant has just been thriving and flourishing. But I noticed that her little leaves curl up and I did some research and it's because the leaves are getting dried out. So naturally I needed to get a glass spray bottle with a white sprayer for water so that I could mist my plant. These came in a pack of two on Amazon. I don't know what I'm gonna use the other one for, but... I'm very into it, I'm very into them. So we're gonna fill this one up with water. And because I'm such a big container girly, I also ordered these that are actually drinking glasses with bamboo sealable lids. I kind of love the idea of using these for drink mixes with water so I can just shake it up. But also I have a couple of mouthwashes that I like to use, but these containers are so fugly. Sorry, not trying to be mean but you are. They're just, they're not going with the aesthetic. And they also don't fit on my shelf in my bathroom. And I think that these will. Yes, it does. I know this is a little insane, but we're gonna put this in here. That is so cute. Cannot convince me otherwise. It's the little things, you know? You gotta find joy in the little things. Three hours later. Oh no. <laughs> Big egg. Actually, this one's good. One. Yeah, yeah, this one's good. <laughs> yeah. There we go. This is your handle. That's yours. Got our pumpkins. We're ready to carve. May or may not have dropped one. <laughs> he picked one up by the stem and dropped it, and it smashed. Luckily, we were able to pick out another one, but we're off. Could not pass them up when I saw them at the farmer's market. Absolutely stunning. Last night was so wholesome and fun, watching scary movies and carving pumpkins with my boyfriend. We really do just have the best time together, no matter what we're doing. Speaking of pumpkins, I actually saved the pumpkin seeds from our pumpkins because we're gonna roast them.
Okay, we are going to use some olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of cayenne. and then bake them at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they are golden brown. And on that note, I'm going to end this vlog here. I have some work to get done today and then I have an early birthday dinner that I'm heading out for. But I love you so much. Thank you for hanging out with me the last couple of days. Don't forget to take advantage of that Brooklyn and discount. Again, it's Shayla Quinn for $20 off an order of $100 or more. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.